Hello and welcome to Bible Bites. My name's Reverend Mark. This week we're going to be learning a little more about love. Now, you might be thinking, what's all this on the table? Well, I have got um, some Vinto, Rabina here on my right hand side, and we've got some glasses as well, so I might be filling these up later. And we're going to learn a little more about love. Now, love comes in many different shapes and forms and ways. So, let's begin with a prayer. This week, you may have noticed, those who are observant, I don't have a candle here today. Uh, that's not because Reverend Mark's forgotten it. That's just trying to be safe today so I don't um, have any accidents. Um, but let's just be still as we learn a little more about love. But let's begin with a prayer. And we'll have a whisper amen as well. Dear God, we thank you for love, a love that you have shown us in many ways and continue to show us. Help us now as we have this time together in our classes. Help us to learn a little more about love and what love is. In the name of Jesus we pray. So, I said we can learn a bit more about love, and I have got lots of these cups here. So we've got one here on the top, there are three more here, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this next layer, and then too many to count on the bottom layer as well. Now, I'm just going to build these back up, because hopefully, if we can get this to work properly, this will help us to learn a little more about love. Now, some of you might have been to weddings, and after a wedding, there is what uh, we call a reception, a party in effect. Now, sometimes at the wedding party, the reception, they have a champagne tower. So this is our Bible Bites champagne tower. Now, for your teachers or members of staff, they might be getting excited, thinking, oh, Reverend Mark's got champagne. I haven't got champagne, sadly, no. But we do have this here. And the reason why we've got this is because it's going to be easier for you to see what we're going to do. So, when people have a party after a wedding, it's about celebrating the love that the couple have for each other. And this here is going to help us hopefully learn a little more about love. But let's turn to the Bible and just a little bite-sized Bible part today to learn a little more about what love is that God intends. Now, this, just a few lines I'm going to read today is quite a well-known passage from the Bible. And couples often ask for this when they get married here in these churches here. It's called, uh, sorry, it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it's all about love. So I'm just going to read this. So St. Paul, he wrote this, and he describes true love, the love shown by Jesus to the world, the love which Jesus wants his followers to have. And then he says, love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not proud or rude or always getting its own way. And then he goes on to say, love instead is happy when there is goodness and truth. Love is caring. Love is trusting. Love is hopeful. And love never gives up love never comes to an end and some very very wise words there about love and we found that here in the bible so i mentioned earlier about a champagne tower at a wedding so we've got this one here this is the bible by its own version um, i've got plastic on the top here because i may well get rather wet and so i don't make too much of a mess and I'm going to tip this into this cup here. I'm going to see what happens. 
Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Okay, let's get on with it. Here we go. So, what happens is, this first one gets filled up. And then, it overflows. The love overflows. I'm just going to move my Bible out of the way. And if you look carefully, you can see that it's going overflowing here into these next ones here. And it's starting to come through. I'll just turn around so I can see you and you can see me. And that's the wonderful thing about love, true love. When people show love and loving care, that love overflows because people feel love. And they, in turn, want to help and love and care for other people. And this is what our champagne tower of love here is helping us to see. That gradually, it overflows more and more. And I'll get a little bit wet as well. But you can see it going further and further. And now, it started getting down to the bottom layer. So hopefully you might be able to see that. And it continues and it continues. Now, these cups are not completely even, so it's not quite working on one side. I'm going to whiz it around slowly. It might fall, and I bet you'll find it very funny. The cleaner and me won't do necessarily, but here we go. Right, I'll carry on tipping a bit more. So, the love overflows. And as we heard from the Bible, some very, very wise words about love. We've nearly finished this jug. Oh, I'm getting a bit wet. Oh dear. Whoops. I think we get the idea. So, this top one here, it then, as it was full, it overflowed. It overflowed to the next layer. It had an impact on this level. And then as these three here became full, then it overflowed and started coming into this third layer here. So overflowed, overflowed, and then you can't quite see, but right in the middle, I'm not going to pull these outside ones over, out, because it'll all come crashing down. But in the middle, there's four right in the middle, and they're nearly full and the others have got drips in. It just shows the impact that love can have on other people. Love overflows in wonderful ways, especially love in care for other people. And Jesus said, the greatest commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. That's part of the greatest commandment. And that is a tricky thing to do. But we can be intentional, we can try our best at being loving and caring for other people. So let's just have a moment just to reflect. So let's just be still. And the question for us to think about this week is, what could you do to show true love and care to someone else? What could you do to show true love and care to someone else? So, there's our time for reflection. We've got our champagne uh, Bible Bite version, champagne overflowing love cascading tower. And I'm going to have a little drink now. It's a bit full. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, never mind. Cheers. Very nice. If you do want to make one of these at home, just ask your mum and dad first, because it does make a bit of a mess, but it is good fun. So let's 
have a prayer to finish with. So let's keep nice and still. And again, we'll have a whisper our men, just nice and quiet to draw our Bible Bites time together to a close. So let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the wonderful words about love that you have in the Bible that we've heard today. We thank you that love can overflow in care for other people in other ways. Help us to think about how we can overflow with love and care to other people. And help us to remember your love for us. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you've enjoyed this week. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to enjoy drinking some of this. And uh, we'll see you again soon. So it's bye-bye from me and Bible Bites. See you soon. Bye-bye.